Hi everyone, my name is Gabe Broom, and this year I would have been a day camp counselor for Pine Lake working my fourth summer here. Now, on this episode of Pine Lake from Home, I'll be showing all of you at home how to make eggs in a nest, a delicious camp treat we normally make at breakfast cookouts. Hi everyone. Hey guys, what's up? Hey guys. Now first, here are the supplies you'll need. First, you'll need some kind of stove, like I have in the background here. Next, you'll need some kind of spatula, and some kind of butter knife or other utensil with which to spread butter. As far as food goes, you'll need a piece of bread, an egg, and naturally, some butter. Finally, you'll need some kind of pan or griddle, like the one I'm using here. He was using a griddle, but I don't have a working griddle, so I'm using a regular frying pan thing. Okay, everyone. Before we start with the cooking, let's go over some safety guidelines. Now first, anytime you're cooking anything to do with food, it's important to wash your hands. And even put your hair up, just so it doesn't get in all the food. Second, when dealing with this food, especially in the case since we're using a stove, it's important to be cautious, avoid touching anything hot like the stove or the pan or griddle you're cooking with, and three, Anytime you're cooking, make sure you have parental or guardian supervision to make sure you're being as safe as possible. So, now that we've done safety and supply guidelines, let's get started with how to actually cook this tasty breakfast treat. First, you want to butter both sides of the bread. I like to do it before I cut the hole in it, just because it makes buttering a little bit easier. Next, you want to take your butter knife and cut out a big circle in the middle of the bread. This is where you'll put your egg later in the process. Make sure to save what you cut out because this can also be a tasty treat. And here's an example of what your bread should look like. All right guys, so now we're actually working with the stove. For the purposes of the video, I've already ignited the stove, but what you want to do from home is turn your stove on on not too high a setting. Next, you'll want to take some butter or pan or some similar kind of spray to avoid sticking and just spread it all around your pan or griddle you're using from home. Now I'm going to butter the pan real good. All around. Next, you'll want to take your bread and your circle you cut up from earlier and put it on the pan to cook. Finally, you want to take your egg that we saved, crack it, and crack it right into the middle of your bread, just like that. And I'm going to add salt and pepper to mine. Not too much, though. Now, we let it cook. Now, at a certain point in the cooking process, you're gonna have to flip your egg in a nest. Now, you can tell this point by just making sure you check, and when this bread reaches a toasty level, and it helps to check by flipping your little piece, when it looks kinda like this and it's brown and toasted, you can go ahead and flip it start cooking on the other side. All right, I've gone and flipped mine onto the other side. Mine's cooking pretty quickly. Uh, it may depend on how fast yours goes by how hot your pan is, okay? Finally, we've reached the most important step, time to eat. So, we're gonna remove from the griddle, put it on our plate, make sure to pick up our tasty treat, and let it cool. Enjoy. This is the final product. I am ready to enjoy. Mmm, it's actually really good.